What's going on, y'all? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I'm up in the three-point contest against Ryan Anderson, Kevin Martin, Randy Foy, Danny Granger, and Eric Gordon. I'm going up against a lot of deadly shooters right now. Hopefully, I can come out with the win. Man, it's, it's going to be pretty hard. Check out this quick glimpse of what's going on in my career. You guys seeing my fans, seeing how many games I'm in. You guys could definitely go back and check that out. But um, I've never done a three-point contest. Um, all I did was let the computer run, so I've never played this. I don't know how to shoot. I know I got Kevin Durant jump shot. I know I'm pretty cash with that. So hopefully I can <laughs> make a couple shots, man. I know all these guys probably going to be hitting these joints, making rack after rack. But let's jump into it, man. Hello, everyone. Welcome to All-Star 2013. We're in the great city of Houston, Texas, for one of the most exciting nights of the NBA season. I'm Kevin Harlan, and with me by my side, Steve Kerr and Clark Hello. Tonight is the celebrated Foot Locker three-point contest. The best and the baddest, and the most accurate from behind the arc, showing everyone what they've got. And as with all the All-Star festivities, the three-point contest is about having fun, a good time. But still, that doesn't mean the competitive juices won't be flowing. Now, no question, Clark, these guys are in it to win it. There's a lot of pride on the line when you're up against your peers like this. But I, I do feel that the guys who perform the best are the ones who relax and just enjoy the experience. Okay, now, as we start this three-point shootout, I just want to let you guys know that there's no real ooh and ah in this video. It's not too many highlights. All it is is the computer shooting, then me shooting. What I was going to do with this video, I was just going to show the ending score of each of the computers. But I want you guys to actually see if these guys hit rack after rack straight. And, you know, see how I do and fare up against these guys. Now, the worst thing that I've noticed about the three-point contest in my career is... You're not in your regular uniform. Um, I'm not in my Pearl and Trailblazers uniform. I'm actually in the Rising Stars Challenge uniform. I don't have a name on the back of my jersey, but I still do have my Nike IDs on. But what I will say is, I like this camera angle, but I hope I don't shoot from this camera angle. Um, like I said, I've never played the three-point contest for myself. So whenever I'm watching it or, you know, because I put out a video of a three-point contest with some of the best shooters ever. And I just saw all different camera angles. So I really don't necessarily know how it's going to be for me. Uh, the way that the commentary is going to be, is just me talking right now, letting you guys know what's going on. But when I start shooting, it's going to be just me, how I was in a live con when I was actually recording. Now, I just want you guys to know, all the people out there that have been asking, IKC, did you get hit with the All-Star glitch? IKC, did you go straight to the playoffs? IKC, did you get hit with any type of glitch during All-Star weekend? Well, I'm going to let you guys know here first. Yes, I did get hit with a glitch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out with a video. Uh, I'm going to entitle it just, you know, uh, All-Star Weekend Glitch, blah, blah, blah. And let you guys know what type of options I have, what I will be doing, and what you guys want me to do. So, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not even going to talk no more about that because, of course, you know, a lot of people got hit with the glitch. 2K has done nothing to fix it. Ronnie 2K has been on vacay. He hasn't been on Twitter much. Uh, if you hit up at 2K Sports on Twitter, you get no response. And, you know, most of the devs that's on Twitter, they really don't use their Twitters that much. So, it's really hard to get your voice heard unless somebody actually makes a video. Now, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about the All-Star glitch, but nobody has done anything about it. So, I'm just going to leave that subject alone. I know it's a sour subject, but we're checking out uh, Foy right now doing his thing, getting his shots off. I'm cool with that. But what I will say about this All-Star DLC as a whole, I kind of like it. You and, it. and it's for four reasons. You got the All-Star game, the dunk contest, the three-point contest, and the Rising Stars challenge. When you want to play in the atmosphere of Houston, I think that that's amazing. But one thing that I will say, I know a lot of players don't just play one season in my career. A lot of guys go all the way to the Hall of Fame. So, in this DLC that we have, is there any way to depict when we will be playing for the next year? You know, like, say next year they might want to go to L.A. or Portland or something like that. You know, they always pick a different city and uh, an arena to host All-Star Weekend. And I know it kind of sucks because will you be playing in Houston the next year? Or for the people that don't have the DLC, will you be playing in Orlando again next year? Like, I don't know. I don't know how things weigh up. 
I really have no say in anything. All I am is just a fan trying to figure out what's going on with the game. But I truly don't know. Now, as Danny J Granger gets his shots off, one thing that I will update you guys on. In my career, a lot of people say, iPod, why don't you come out with so many videos? And I'm kind of trying to figure out what do you guys mean by a lot of videos because right now it's November. It's the middle of November and the game came out October 4th. Ever since then, I have dropped almost 30 plus NBA 2K13 videos not including live streams and other games on game face studios so when you guys ask me hey why don't you drop a lot of videos i kind of do so what i want to know is what do you guys want to see because the way i've been doing my videos lately what i'll do is in the first minute and a half will be a game either i won or lost and then i'll present to you guys a game that you guys really want to see like take for instance i played up against minnesota and i cut it up in the first minute and a half and then we got into a real good matchup and i wanted to know if you guys like those type of videos or would you prefer me just playing out all the games and then just putting out video by video going like that because what i would do is i would never try to put say for instance i go up against like the la clippers game i put both of those back-to-back -back games in the same video instead of me playing one game and then playing the next but how would you guys like it would you guys like me to play the clippers one time upload the video to youtube and then upload the next clippers game either the the next day or a few days later like how would you guys like that because I've like to me personally, I think that the way that I'm currently doing it is kind of the best way to do it because you really don't have too much to worry about, you know, but we will see. But um, as Eric Gordon is coming to an end, my commentary is actually about to start up. So this is his last rack. I'm going to just, you know, <laughs> be quiet right here and then I'm going to get into my shots. Y'all, I'll be right back. Uh, KC in the building, point guard for the Portland Trail Blazers. It's time to show these people I got that three. You already know it's going to be cash. Let's see what I got. Ah, oh, my God. That looks so laggy. Hold on. What is that ball up at the top? Do I got to get it inside that ball? Hold up. Oh, this thing cash. Hold up. Money ball. Oh, I missed the money ball. It's all good. LT to grab. Let me shoot that. Uh, cash. Let me get another one. Cash. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. Three in a row. Cash. Come on. Stop playing. Oh, that's for a money ball. Come on. Can I get a whole rack? Can I get a whole rack, please? Can I get a couple ribs with that? <laughs> Yo, my jump shot is crazy. All right. Hold on. Let me, let me make sure I can make these. I'm trying to figure out what the, I think that ball up at the top is the actual point that you need to put the ball in order to make the shots. That's pretty good. I got 13 points so far. I know I'm still trying to get the shot right. I'm trying to make sure that I make these shots, man. I don't want to just sit up here and get kicked out the first round. Ah, that's cash. Woo Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. This, this, I don't think this Kevin Durant jump shot is suited for a three-point contest because it, it looks and feels so laggy. Oh, 24. Let's go. Hold up. I don't, I don't got no emotion. Come on, man. Really? Come on. Smile or something. All right, after the first round, I'm number one. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all. How did you guys like that commentary? Uh, that was just me going completely off the Richter. I don't know why, but for some reason, I didn't know that the jump shots would fall that much because I've never played the three-point shot contest. I guess that's just me knowing the Kevin Durant shot. And actually, I did have a question about that ball up at the top. I really don't know what it is. I'm guessing that's the meter that you got to get the shot within in order for you to hit it. But it is what it is. But doesn't my jump shot look a little bit too laggy for a three-point contest? Because it seems like my guy hangs in midair and then releases it. Even though that's Kevin Durant's jump shot, it just doesn't look that great close up. But I don't know. But back to what I was talking about, um, giving you guys an update on my career. Um, I know you guys seen the uh, shoe opportunity endorsement video. And I cannot wait to get that endorsement, man. It's, it's going to be great. Like, I, I really can't wait to go into the uh, actual Nike Innovation Kitchen, set things up, make my own shoe. And I may even ask you guys for a little bit of help. You know what? Speaking of which, since we're, since we're right here right now, in the comment section, guys, 
leave me uh, your actual setup for all the guys that made their own personal shoe. What I want you to do is, if you still have the footage or you recorded it or you can actually go back in and edit the shoe, leave me um, all the setups that you guys have so I can actually go into a shoe creator and look and see what you guys have made or you guys can even do this go to my twitter page at ipod king carter and actually send me pictures of you guys created shoes because I, I would definitely like to see them because when i create my own shoe i definitely want to try to be um what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> I, I want to be you know exclusive i want to have my own type of shoe but i don't you know i don't want to make it seem like i copied off of somebody or nothing like that but i actually want to get a general idea of what you guys have been creating now eric gordon he is doing his thing right now um I, i'm hoping he doesn't make all these shots man because when it's time for me to go up i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> real rap but it looks like aaron gordon only got ah uh, he's doing horrible he only got 12 points, so you already know what that means, right? It's time for IKC to get back up there. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh it's looking real bad for EG, bull. I might come out with this win. I don't even got to shoot that much. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me get this weight off my shoulders. Yeah, let me go real slow real quick. Let Eric Gordon know what it is. Oh, shit, I'm missing. <laughs> oh, all right, there it go. I, I thought fatigue was setting in real quick. Ah, I missed the money ball. It's all good. I only got two points. I'm not looking too good right now. Oh, I cannot make a shot. Oh, fatigue has definitely set in. All right, come on. Let me make that. Oh, come on. Money ball. Cash. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I got 35 seconds to do what I do. Only need a few more points. He ain't doing much. Oh, yeah, I can slow it down. Let me slow it down. Let me. I'm getting a little bit too hype out there, man. You guys like the way I'm slowing it down on EG? I know he, I know he mad over there. Look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Hold up. Uh. Let me, let, let me put a little bit of icing on it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Here we go. Cash. Look, that's it. I'm sorry, EG. I'm sorry. It is what it is, man. I I, I had to take the win, man. I'm sorry. What, what do you expect from me, bro? <laughs> oh, for the win. Oh, so sorry. Well, I hope you guys like the commentary. Um, I scored 20 points. I did get the win because um, I was actually looking at the other two guys. Kevin Martin, I'm sorry, man. I know you're a great three-point shooter, and I know that you're supposed to be on the Thunder. But it is what it is. I did make this my player before the actual trade went down. So I know a lot of people are going to be saying, oh, my God, why is Kevin Martin on the Rockets? Where's Harden? Don't worry about it. <laughs> when I create my small forward, the rosters will be totally updated after trade deadline in a real NBA. So I will be playing with that guy. His... All of his stats, all of his attributes, all the rosters will be perfect. And I can't wait to start that career up. But for right now, I got the win. This is IKC signing out. Thanks for rocking with me in this video, y'all. Peace.